YouTube 101. Today I'm going to be reading like straight off the of script. I've written like a little rant thing about the whole new update thing. And instead of just writing up into a twit longer, I thought instead I'd just read it out to you in a video. So there would be just random parts where I add to things, but this is what I've written and this is what I'm going to be going off of. YouTube announced a new update in which the requirements for the YouTube Partner Program have changed dramatically. The requirements used to be was just open for anyone, you could just join the YouTube Partner Program and boom, you have monetization on your videos, if it's suitable for ads. Since we've had a lot of issues with PewDiePie and other things and like the media getting involved and ads pulling out, we've seen requirements for the YouTube Partner Program again. The great thing about that is the fact that we don't have so many channels just being made just to spam things like extremist content, we don't have things like pornographic content, and then having ads on those videos. Instead, we've got more videos with less ads on it, which is a good thing because most of these videos are extremist content and botted content that's just uploaded and spammed onto the site and it's not regulated which is something that YouTube needs. They ranked it up to 10,000 lifetime views on a channel, so a channel needs to have 10,000 views overall to be able to be eligible for ads. Now, that's pretty easy to get. 10,000 views would take you probably like, I don't know, a month at most of you getting like 100 views a video. So it really wouldn't take you that long, to be fair. Now, the new requirements are a bit more higher and they're a, it's a big jump from 10,000 lifetime views. It's 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watched hours. Not watched minutes, watched hours. This is a pretty big jump from 10,000 lifetime views. It's also much, much harder to actually earn. A thousand subs took me about, I want to say like best of two to three years. Now that's a long fucking time. Then again, it does prove that I have shown myself to be a trusted creator and that I'm not posting extremist content, at least I hope. And therefore I'm a trusted creator, meaning advertisers are going to be a lot more comfortable with putting ads on content like mine. Now 4,000 watched hours, I, in the last 12 months, bear in mind, so this is how many, that's how many hours you've had in the last 12 months, and it must be over 4,000. Now, I've had over that, I don't, don't want to sit here and brag that I've had over that, but trust me, it wasn't far off. And I wouldn't, I probably would not have made it without my Zoella video having 160k views. Which is worrying because if I hadn't have just had that one little moment of blowing up, then I would never, never have had the opportunity now to earn revenue, regardless of the fact that I'm on 4.6k. So the biggest punch in the balls for a fair few creators isn't just the requirements, it's more of the fact that if you don't meet the requirements, you're kicked out of the program. By 30th of February, you'll be removed from the YouTube Partner Program. Now this is a pretty big thing. Usually it's just like, no, it's fine, you can stay until, you know, it'll be fine because you're, you've already been part of the YouTube Partner Program, whatever. But instead they're like, no, if you don't have these requirements, you're no longer in the Partner Program, you're done. But people feel like that if you're not in the partner program, you won't get end cards, you won't be able to live stream, you won't get custom thumbnails. Now YouTube have actually come out and said, no, you will. You will keep these features because that's just part and parcel of being a YouTube creator. You've got to be able to live stream, you've got to be able to have custom thumbnails. And you know, we're not going back to the stone ages of YouTube, don't worry. Now a lot of people, because obviously as you can imagine, this has caused a very controversial outburst from the community. There's a lot of negative feedback with this for creators not being able to monetize the videos anymore. They're no longer going to be able to post content, which good, to be honest. I mean, you clearly never had a drive to be able to upload videos. You never wanted to enough. You never really wanted to be on this platform for fun. You're more looking at it for money because if monetization is causing you to just drop off the site completely, then you're not really doing anything good, are you? You're not really doing YouTube for the sake of doing YouTube. You're doing it for the sake of just earning a quick buck. If you were to just open up a Patreon and you had, let's say you were earning a thousand views a video. If you got at least one to two percent people supporting you, you'd earn more than you were earning from ads anyway. Especially in the most recent adpocalypse, you've been getting a fuck ton more. If you open up a Teespring, you'd earn even more as well. If you sold shirts on Redbubble, you'd also be earning more. And Redbubble gives you bugger all commission, so you know. So you'd be earning a lot more if you just actually put, if you really did focus on money, then yeah, you could earn money from Patreon and things like that. It's not difficult to do. I was earning a lot more than I was ad revenue wise when I had my Patreon. Sadly, I couldn't take my pet funds out, but that's a different story. Now that I'm actually earning ad revenue, it's, it's different because ad revenue has been low. Through December, it's really high. It's great. Everyone has ads. Fantastic. Issue is, soon you get into January, everything's terrible and it slowly goes back up again throughout the year. Now, ads are gonna come back now that we have this new program in place. Now that we have these new requirements, people are gonna have 10 times more ads because all these ads coming from the smaller channels and all that are all gonna get whacked into the lighter channels. Meaning we're gonna have a load more revenue, have load more ads, 
At the same time, advertisers will probably come back to the site almost in a sense of trust. It's like they look at the they look at the site and they think, wow, these requirements are a lot higher. There'll be like no extremist content anymore. Or they look at it and think, well, Logan Paul still filmed the dead body dangling from a tree and PewDiePie still dressed up as a Nazi and said Heil Hitler. So there's still an issue. So we don't know yet. We don't know whether they're gonna get more ads, less ads, creators should be earning a bit more. There should be a lot less extremist content. And really, I'm hoping to see more of a drive. More of a drive for channels to actually upload because wanting to get to a thousand subs, I know for a fact that's a, that's a grind. You wanna get that, you wanna get that, like there's no tomorrow and it's the hardest thing to get. But once you get it, you feel great. And this should be like a way of just achievement of getting a thousand subs. You can now earn money. Back in the day, it used to be like 10,000 subs being a partner program. Now it's nothing and now we're back to a thousand. So it's probably good that we're going, taking a step back and we're just like trying to go again being a bit more brash with things. Increase though in speed and efficiency when it comes to uh, videos being remonetized, videos being manually reviewed, etc., etc. So we will actually see probably faster response from YouTube when creators having an issue. So that will probably mean if you are an avid watcher of YouTube videos, you'll probably see your cre your favorite creators. I know a lot, a lot of you watch these creators. They'll be uploading more because they know they'll be able, they'll be able to get ads. They won't have to upload their video three times a day. They won't have to keep uploading it to try and get ads and cut certain words out and things like that. We'll probably see a much healthier community and less toxicity and people just not getting pissed at YouTube every five seconds and instead it, they're, they're, instead just not getting pissed off, just uploading and enjoying themselves. So hopefully we see more of that. And I know a lot of big creators that you guys watch and love are 100% for this and are just really looking forward to uploading throughout this year. So fingers crossed that 2018 will actually be a good year for YouTube, not a bad year. So don't look at this as a negative start if you're a channel under a thousand subs. Try and see this as, you know what, I'm gonna go for this, I'm gonna see what I can do. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Because YouTube really is chance. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, there's uh, more content, uh, you know, on the sidebar on my channel. And if you wanna like and subscribe, you can do that too. I always have a second channel that I'm gonna, just gonna plug here because I've only got like 40 subs on it. So yeah, if you want to sub to my second channel, that's in the description. I'm going to be uploading some more regular content on that. Some bit more interesting content, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out.